Hey everybody, welcome to the Apple Ninja. Last week we went over a full homebrew tutorial, so if you're needing to know how to do any of that stuff, go check that video out. This week we're diving into the security and a really big security flaw that happens when you install the homebrew software. What happens is if you look at the folder permissions of user local and we just hit return. You're gonna look at this line here, user local bin. User local bin <clears throat> is in your path. So if I type in echo dollar sign path, it is part of my default path. So anything that is in that folder, I can just type in the command line and it'll run. So if I put a command in there, if I do something with that folder, I can just run it very simply without typing the path because it's part of my default path. This folder is actually not on the Mac to begin with when you put on a brand new Mac OS. It gets in, added by a variety of different applications or processes, um, but it starts off when it gets created having root permissions, root and wheel, which you would require using your password to actually modifying anything in that folder, right? So I couldn't just drop stuff in there without using a password. And I'm gonna show you how installing a homebrew and leaving it in its default state is a major security issue. So I love homebrew and I use it I just know how to uh, protect it, and that's what I'm gonna show you guys. Let me do brew list. And I have one brew item, it's called tree, in there. That's the one I'm going to basically turn into my uh, little script that tries to ask for the password on the system. So now I am gonna replace that file and I'm not gonna need any permi uh, any elevated permissions like sudo or anything like that. So I'm gonna cat the script that I'm gonna put in there. I created it and it's in user shared and it's called tree. And this is just a script. And this part right here is what will ask them for their password before it actually goes and runs the tree command with what they're asking for. So tree does this, tree desktop, and let's say I wanna do last week's homebrew tutorial folder. It shows me a nice little layout of my files. If I had other folders in there, it would actually go down into those folders. So my goal is I wanna ask them for their password. I wanna steal their password. And then I wanna run the command as if it all worked. I'm gonna remove user local bin tree. This file is an alias for the homebrew um, application, which is right here. So this file right here, Homebrew created the alias. I'm removing the alias and replacing it with something else that I want to use. So I'm going to do remove, and then I am going to just make sure. So this user pass file, so if it's already collected the password, it's not going to ask again. It'll just let them keep using uh, uh, the tree application as if nothing was wrong. It'll ask them one time for that password, steal it, and then work as normal. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that that file is gone. I'm gonna copy this file over to user local bin. You're gonna notice no passwords, nothing. So this is very easily done in an unattended, you know, non-password requiring way. All right, so now we've replaced it. Let's run this same command, 
tree desktop homebrew tutorial and see what it does for us. Ah, so look at that. It's saying tree requires a password to finish install. All right, I'm gonna enter my password. That's my password. I'm gonna hit return. Oh, and look, it actually runs the tree command that I was asking. Now, if I arrow up, it's just gonna run the tree command because it already stole my password. So now if I go back to this file and I cat that file, there's my password that it just stole. Brew uninstall tree. Um, I'm gonna type it. It went and uninstalled tree. Now let's look at what we can do to protect ourselves. So we know that it's the permissions of that user local folder. We know that we need this to be root wheel, right? So that's what we're gonna change it to. We're gonna change chown root wheel on user local bin. And boom, do a pseudo on that. All right, so now if we arrow up, we're gonna see that that folder has root wheel. Nobody can just copy uh, their own application in there and replace any of my apps, right? My binaries that I'm running to execute stuff. So if I do brew install tree, it's gonna fail because the permissions are wrong on that folder and you're gonna see it. Look at, it's gonna tell you that you need to change them. So now all you have to do is do sudo. I'm gonna come back here. This is Mac guys computer and they do admin and I just do that. Bam, and now I can install tree again all right guys so make sure that when you're using homebrew to protect yourselves when it, you don't want this just running right any process can send a brew install firefox or anything right um you could easily have all sorts of applications installed on your uh system without your permission and it's so easy for you to protect yourselves. So get yourself protected, get these permissions changed and have fun with Homebrew, keep it. It's still an awesome package manager. It just has a little bit of a flaw in, uh, in the process and just needs to, a little help in securing it. All right, you guys have an awesome week. Take care, I will see you next week.